Tim, at a training session like this, like, what are you, what are you trying to get out of it in terms of preparing for the match? Yeah, a uh, bit of fun for me personally. Um, the next week's going to be pretty hectic, so there's not going to be a lot of time for training. I doubt any guys will probably train, so get a good hit in, um, tick off, feel good, and, and get some stuff that you, in the back of your mind get get it worked on. When you, not here obviously with the Australian camp, but when you are travelling around the world with the franchises, like, do you have a coach that comes with you sometimes? Or, you know, I imagine it's hard when you're kind of on your own a bit. Yeah, travel can be difficult. Sometimes uh, I've been lucky that i play with a lot of same, the same teams around places, so... Um, I've got a coach back at home that I refer, uh, talk back to, you know, sometimes see a bit of footage, watch the games, just work on some s small things. But, um, yeah, it's just a, about trying to keep momentum during tournaments. Yeah. I was just curious, like, when you're, you know, you have a very specific role, obviously, um, in the team, like, yeah, what's your kind of mental preparation when you are um, sitting in the dugout waiting, you know, for all those overs till you come in? Like, yeah, how do you try? And, you know, yeah, we, we talk about... Um, match conditions with the batters that have been in so far, maybe what, what we might expect to come up. Um, but again, it's about being open-minded every match. We know, um, really lucky to have Wadey behind me, who's you know an amazing batter in his own right, but he's playing down the order in that position. So there's an opportunity for me to um, feel like I have someone behind me as well. Um, but we're really prepared. We know that our, our role might be four or five balls and or it might be uh, further up the order went or earlier in the innings if we're needed. So. Um, it's about being open-minded, being prepared, and you know we're pretty comfortable with that. And the guys in front of us have been really good. They've done done such a good job so far that we haven't been needed. Which is with the, the conditions over here, probably barring some leisure and the, the, the pitch there. Is, has this been the kind of tournament where, like your really massive six hitters like yourself, are needed because because it's a lot less so? You, you know, you, do you know what I mean? You have to have that extra edge. Here to be able to, to really do that? Yeah, I think the nature of the pitches in the Caribbean, they can be so, um, they can be really uh, two pace and, and like up and down with bounce. So uh, miss hits can be really important, or it's really important to be fully committed. So guys that look to time the ball a lot, you know, you might say they're playing lower risk cricket, but also at the same time, if you need uh, an impact innings in T20 cricket, you get that, um, you take that in 10 out and you can really break the, break the game open. Uh, and how much have you personally been taking or looking into the wind at the various grounds in the Caribbean? Yeah, the wind's really important. Um, you hit the ball into the wind, it, it goes 50 metres shorter, then you get one downwind, you can't stop it. I think the other night in St Lucia, if you hit the ball downwind, it went out of the stadium. And um, So, yeah, that all comes into stuff when you're out in the middle. You're weighing up risks, weighing up what the best option is for taking ends down. And um, I guess that comes with... It's, you can sum it up quicker when you're experienced and, and you have an idea of what, what the risk is like if you, if you have to take it on. Do you do any before the game? Like, because obviously the prevailing winds tend to go a certain way. Is that something that you look at beforehand or do you just make a snap judgment? Uh, yeah, you can feel it out there. It's pretty strong in the Caribbean. So some islands are windier than others, but um, we've been able to feel it when you're out there. Have you gone against um, Bush if he's in the, um, I presume you've played a bit against him on the, on the circuit? Yeah, uh, I've played the Fizz a couple of times. Um, he's a skillful bowler. He's, he's, you know, he's renowned for his change of pace. Um, he's probably one of the Bangladeshis that I've seen the most of. So um, he bowls those death overs. I bat at the death. That's a matchup, yeah. Yeah, and in terms of um, the Antigua week, I mean, it seemed pretty good for you. I know mean, you didn't get hit, but the Lydia game it seemed pretty good. Like, uh, is that um, a bit of an advantage to you guys? Yeah, I think a, a bouncy pitch. There's been chat about it spinning the last couple of games that it's played there. So, you know, we're open-minded again. We feel like we've got a lot of bases covered with our squad. Um, whether it's squad balance or different guys playing different roles, but um, again, it's just bat, bat versus ball, and we feel like we're pretty well matched up. Yeah, and their um, their league spinner, like the, the young 21 year old Richard, he, um, you, you guys have actually haven't faced that much league spinner this tournament, I think, from that end, but from the deal, um, just something new to kind of get your head around. Yeah, uh, I suppose that's the nature of the World Cup, isn't it? You play every team once, you might get a team twice if you play them in the finals. So you don't get to face a lot of a lot of these guys, you don't get a big look at them. So again, it's all it's all out in the game. I don't think anyone in our team will have played against him, so um, we're going to take him on. Yeah. Just, oh, I was going to ask today, because I noticed that they did, did come and ask for spinners, any spinners in particular. Was that just really the focus of your batting today? Uh, yeah, it was just the way the session went, um, felt happy with how I was batting. I, just, I guess I just, because the other teams you've got in this group, there is going to be a lot of spin you would imagine that you'd be facing. Yeah, I, I practice a lot against spin over the last couple of weeks. Um, 
day before a game or a couple of days before a game, it's not not that big of a stress. You know, if you can't change too much in that um in that last stage. You're just getting feeling good, get, ticking a couple of boxes and having fun at training. That's the most important thing for me. Yeah, you're having fun. How many times did you hit the roof? Were you keeping count? I wasn't. Um, it's, it's, it's about hitting over the roof. You know, that's oh, the no. that's the goal. So, so you if failed. It, yeah, if it hits the roof, it's disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> The second Super 8s game you've got against Afghanistan looks like mm-hmm. you're on quite a uh, slow turning wicket in St Vincent. Um, how, how do you find those sort of pitches as opposed to ones where um, the ball comes on a bit more like when you've got to kind of generate all the power? Yeah, it's it's obviously a really different method of batting and a different method of scoring. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of cricket in St Vincent, international cricket, so it's hard to predict what the conditions are going to be like there. Um, and that's where it comes on to guys to assess that in the game, find a way of scoring. Um, obviously, Afghanistan, that's that's probably suits there. If, if the pitch does spin a bit more and, and is slower, that they're more accustomed to those sort of conditions than we are at home. But like you say, it's a World Cup, so you've got to play um, teams in neutral venues and, and different conditions. And if you're going to win it, then you play well in those conditions. Are you finding other guys coming to you for a bit of advice on the pitches over here? Have you sort of played a bit more here than some other guys? Um, I think not coming to me. Everyone contributes when they need to, and there's a lot of experience in this group. So guys have been on tours of the Caribbean before. Guys are finding their method, and I think we've done a pretty good job so far. How's your, uh, how's your bowling coming along? Yeah, good. I've been bowling heaps. Yeah. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm nagging away at the skip to give me a go, so see what happens. I think I'm a bit back in the pecking order for guys. We've got a few all-rounders there, but... Again, I'm just trying to be prepared for when the chance comes up if I'm needed. How many times did you hit the towel? Not as many as Ash, so <laughs> you've got to keep got to keep working on it. Yeah, and is there some leg spin in there as well? Is that a, is that a yeah. new thing? Yeah, no, I've been working on my leg spin for probably seven or eight months now, so you know that's something down the track, and I've been working really hard on my bowling. I want to get an op- more of an opportunity to do that, and when that comes down the line, I'm looking forward to it. And would that be a, a leg spin to right-handers, off spin to lefty? I think that's the plan. It just gives you options as a matchup. Um, I started bowling leg spin in the nets, like I said, nine months ago, and they came out really well. So I've just been working really hard on it. And to be honest, I come to training, spend so much time away playing cricket, come to training to have fun, and I really enjoy bowling it. It's more fun in the game than just sitting there for 20 overs in the field. You get in the game, it makes it easy. I was talking about him the other night when he wasn't bowling. He, he probably <laughs> felt disengaged from the game. So, yeah, that's, that's just want to be in the action all the time. Yeah. Has anyone been, like, working with you on that? Yeah. Who is yeah. Well, it's been really good to bowl with Ash, bowl with Zamps when they're when they're around in the nets. Um, rub, rub ideas off them. Um, yeah. So there's bowling coaches, and it's really good to get different ideas from people. But again, it's about um, what works for me and finding my own method. Has there been any particular like piece of advice that that one of the guys has given you to, to work on? Uh, hard to pinpoint. Yeah. Well, generally, um, in white ball cricket, like batsmen want to bat at the top of the order. It's the best yeah. place to bat. Have you ever yearned for that, or you, know, you seem to be a bit of an exception that um, you know you've kind of always been in the middle order? Yeah, uh, you want to bat as high as you can to have an impact on the game. But t- my role in this team, uh, where I fit in, is that's not going to happen. So there's no point worrying about it right now. Um, that there, there's different methods that come with batting higher up the order. You know, you might have to play. Um, different shots or, or have a different method so I guess I'm, I'm experienced in batting, batting in the middle order that's where my role is really important for this team um, and how we gel with you know Wadey and Stoin through that middle period has been really important for us and and I'm really lucky to have those guys around me as well because I'm the new new guy in the team to them you know I've been around for two years now on this side but those guys are so experienced and and make me feel comfortable and we communicate about different things we've got different matchups so that's um that's important for this team gives those guys up at the top some freedom as well to go and express themselves, know that if they do mess it up, we're there. Has, um, has fielding been a, been a bit of a discussion going up for um, uh, the game against, you play here, you play right? against Scotland, Scotland where you drop a few catches? Right? Uh, to be honest, there hasn't been a lot of discussion about that. Um, we, we have high standards. We've been good throughout the tournament. The other night was a bit sloppy, but... Um, you know, those games happen, good for it to happen in that match. Um, see it come Super 8s, this team's shown how, how good is it at being um, switched on in those crucial moments in, in knockout matches, and that's the nature of it. It's three games now, the Super 8s, and we've got to be on it. Yeah, like, I mean, speaking of switched on, the one you took against um, Oman, put Oman on the fence. I think so, it was, feels like a <laughs> long time ago, that, yeah. yeah. Can you just talk, like, that just, people just take that for granted now, but, yeah, can you talk us through that? Yeah, I actually didn't think at any point I was going to get there to catch it. And then all of a sudden it was in my hands and I saw the boundary rope. So, yeah, you practice that a lot and it kind of happens as second nature. So it's nice to pull one off. Um, 
fielding is, is a momentum thing again, it's a confidence thing. The more you want the ball to come to you, um, the better it goes.